in October 15th. So let's go to October 15th. So on October 1st, I kind of got in touch with my instinct and that's, what, that's when I felt, that's when I had this experience of feeling that I found my center, right? Like I kind of, I find, kind of felt like I found myself because I found the motivation of everything that I was doing and where it was coming from. And not only that, but I recognized, I recognized it as the place, I recognized it as that, that place where all my motivation was coming from and I labeled it. I labeled it and I found that out inside myself, I labeled it. So that I could go back to it whenever I wanted. So it's not just like just I found my center, but like I actually found and established and labeled my center, and I, you know, and, and I placed a bookmark on it, so I could go back to it wherever I wanted. So that was that was amazing, right? Um, at that point, um, and and you know, in, in, in another video, uh, I did find a center, but in October first, I kind of like experienced that, like I, you know, like I actually found out where where it was coming from, right? So, um, but I had already had that in, in the new core, right? The new core where, where it starts from zero. It starts from zero, that's instinct. Uh, then there's a level one, which is an unknown protocol. And I had already ordered them in this way. I think by, by October, I had already ordered them in this way. Then number two is essence, or essence of practicality. Uh, and all of these have their own steps. And when I was developing the system, these were the, when I was developing the practicality system, these were just separate, right? These were just separate ideas, kind of like meta notes and kind of like ideas uh, from other places. Um, so instinct, unknown, unknown, unknown protocol, unknown protocol, essence of practicality. But now there's, they're, they're starting to be the center Kind of like the center model of practicality, and at this point, I already figured out that there are these are these are different levels of practicality because there's instinct practicality, right? Where I mean, it, to have an instinct is practical because you do get things done, right? Um, and that's practical at, at some point. And a lot of you know, like animals and a lot of people, this is their practicality right here. This is this is their main this is their main functioning mode, right? unknown protocol is for people that don't know, they don't know, when you don't know how to do something, you got to function in this because then that involves analyzing, you know, it doesn't just involve doing what your instinct says, it actually involves paying attention, looking for patterns and actually trying to learn, right, that involves another level of awareness. So, um, and then essence of practicality, it's an even higher level because it involves like using your imagination, observing, using your imagination, to come up with a goal and kind of like building up upon yourself, right? Uh, to to get to get what you desire, right? And so I notice that throughout the day, I go back and forth, I go up and down between these levels. And so these are just these are just like different levels of practicality. They're all practical. They are all as valid as one another. And one of them, I mean, maybe some of them are better than than others, but they're all necessary. They're actually all necessary to work together, right? Um, they're actually all necessary uh, for to work to work uh, to, to for, for one to work toward a goal. Um, so they're all as valid as one another. They're all as valuable. Um, but even though some of them are more primal, right? They're more. I don't know, foundational, right? So instinct is the most primal, right? Because you're just doing things. It's, it's, it's kind of like a rudimentary action where, you know, you don't even have to think about it. It just happens, instinct. Uh, so this is the most primal. This is a kind of high level thinking, high level of thinking, right? And so at this point, I'm kind of developing wholesome action, right? And Wholesome action. Uh, the way that I started developing is uh, is by um, you know in practicality in, this, in the practicality system, concave 
is a valid tool to accomplish goals, right? And what, what is concave? Kind of like convincing yourself that, you know, that you're going to get the goal and believing in yourself and, you know, giving yourself all these happy thoughts and kind of saying, yes, you can do it and, you know, and, and you know, and kind of like setting up the world and, you know, uh, all that stuff, all that uh, sissy stuff. Um, so, so that's concave. And that, that's actually valid and it's actually useful. So do not disregard that. But I was avoiding that. And I, at the time, I didn't know why I was avoiding it. But I just knew there was something that I needed to figure out. And what I needed to figure out is that I needed to get to the center. To, you know, the, the reason why I was chasing fear was I needed to face that essence, that, that, that essential element that, that I had inside me, right? And so when I was practicing that, when I was practicing inducing enchantment and kind of like controlling it and kind of like turning pain into power that's when I realized what I had been looking for all along, right? That's when I felt wholesome action and I think wholesome action, I, I think that's when I developed wholesome action I think it's October 15th I have to look back at my notes to figure it out um, um, it was either then or before um, but wholesome action that's when I developed it as part of, as another level. I also, also go by the name Eudaimonia because, and I gave, I, I, I use this name Eudaimonia because it resembles a lot uh, uh, Aristotle's, uh, Aristotle's concept of Eudaimonia. Um, but once you get to wholesome action, once you turn pain into power, you're no longer motivated by pain. You're only motivated by pleasure. Um, and so this is a whole new level of practicality, right? So it goes from uh, level zero, level one, level two, you're achieving goals, and level three is when you don't even need the goal, but the reason why you're achieving it is a whole different. And you know, most people, most people, they function here, man, because most people, the only reason why they do things is because they need it, is because they want it. Why would you do something that you don't have a desire for, right? The only, if, if your whole life, if your whole life, You've only been doing things because you want to do them. You haven't experienced this, man. You haven't experienced that. And, you know, but this is, not just, this is not just doing something that you don't want to do. It's not about doing something that you don't want to do. It's doing something not because you want to do it, because, but because you're inspired to do it, right? And... Feeling, if, if, if you do something that you don't want to do, it kind of gives you the chance to experience wholesome action. But that's not it. I mean, like, serving others, giving money away, if it hurts, that's not it. But that pain is the opportunity. You know, being responsible, taking, you know, taking, uh, do donating money, you know, taking care of children. If it hurts, that's not it. That's not the experience of inspiration but that does give you the chance to practice it. Because any pain gives you the chance to embody it, to ride along, right? To ride along those waves of, and to turn that pain into power. But yeah, most people function here. Most people do things just because they want to do. And wholesome action is a whole new level of practicality, right? So on October 18th, in October 18th, I'm, I'm thinking about all this, right? And I'm thinking about how, you know, it's not that I need to climb up these levels, right? Because I was like, okay, do I ignore my instinct? Because in October 1st, I had the experience of being in touch with my center, with my instinct was so, was so uh, impactful that I realized it's, it's not about trying to climb out of it in your instinct. You need your instinct, right? So, so right now I'm thinking, no, it's, you're not trying to climb, climb up this ladder to reach level three. You keep your instinct intact. Well, the experience that I had in October 1st made me realize that, that instinct is not something to be lost. So I'm trying to figure out what is up with these levels, right? In October 18th, I'm trying to figure out like, okay, so is a one, or is, is like three better than two? I mean, they are, like, it does seem better, right? But, or like, do you, so it's kind of like you practice them all together, right? So I'm thinking about this in October 18th, like I'm trying to think about it, like, okay, so how does this work, right? Like, what does this pattern mean? <clears throat> and I noticed that throughout the day, 
I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm in here, sometimes I'm in this level, you know, when I'm just like waking up out of bed or I'm like I'm grouchy. And so I'm acting on that level and sometimes I'm acting on this level. So I'm trying to figure out what that means, right? And so I come up with this idea, right, that maybe it's not about climbing up a ladder, but maybe this is something that I'm supposed to practice altogether. Maybe this is something that I'm supposed to practice altogether. So instinct, I'm supposed to practice it, right? And instinct is more primal. But I'm also, so once, once, I, once I get in touch with my instinct, then I practice unknown protocol on top of that. And then once I'm practicing these two, then I also practice essence of practicality on top of that. And then once I get, once I, you know, get in touch with all of this and practice them all together, then I also practice eudaimonia, wholesome action. So it looks more like this. Why? Because you're at the center, you're at the center, and you're supposed to build on top of that. You're not supposed to climb up the ladder, you're supposed to build on top of that more and more practicality. And so that's what I came up, that's, that's the new model, the new model of practicality. So the practicality system that had the 10 elements, uh, 10, 11, and I was supposed to add and subtract, uh, you know, and combine, and I added volition on there. That's something else. That's a, that, 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 that's a, that's a, that system is obsolete, and it is now a scratch work that led to this that led to this discovery, right? So this is the new model of practicality. So this is what I'm going by now, and um, I'm trying to I'm trying to get used to practicing this wholesome action, um, and yeah, and. And as I'm trying to develop wholesome action, so I'm trying to develop it, trying to figure out how to how to add this, right? So, so if you kind of imagine here, you're at the center, right? And th these are all your levels of practicality, right? And wholesome action is kind of like the armor that protects you against pain. Uh, that's kind of how I imagine it, because it gives you that ability to to turn pain into power, you know? So it's so it kind of works like an armor, right? So in the morning, I kind of imagine myself like, okay, in the morning. Before you wake up, before you get out, before you face any negativity or before you face any, any challenges or conflicts, you put on your armor, right? And I haven't, I haven't been diligent at this. You know, when, when I wake up in the morning, I don't have time to figure this out, so I just go to work. Um, but that's kind of the idea, right? The idea that I want to go by. So I'm trying to figure out more about this to figure out how it works so I can, so, I mean, because I, I have done it, I have, I have performed it but I need to do it more smoothly, right? So I'm analyzing more into it to figure out more, to figure out how to do it more smoothly and quicker. And with that said, just two weeks ago, I'm trying to practice this, right? I'm trying to practice this. And I write these notes, right? I'm writing these notes, I'm at work. I'm doing this at work. And here is, here is the new model right here. And here is me figuring out other stuff. See, there's, there's, um, what is this? There's kind of a three-way at the onset of pain displeasure. So th there's a three-way transformation, three-way transformation right there at the onset of pain and pleasure. There's, there's three kind of reactions. You can either turn this displeasure into volition or calm it down, or you can act practicality concave, right? And I'm trying to figure the, uh, all these out, right? And these are extensions, right? Right. So these, this turns into extensions. So, but th th that's something else, that's, uh, that's other stuff. And right now, it, r on this part of the page, I'm trying to like summarize recent discoveries towards, towards eudaimonia. So, uh, so I'm writing this, origin of, origin of pain is based on decision, that's what I talked about in the other video. Uh, new model, so aversion mindset. So I'm, uh, I'm just kind of like summarizing everything in my head. I'm summarizing everything in my head uh, so I could like have everything in front of me. Um, so I could like think about it and kind of mull over it so I could like, uh, engrave it in my mind, right? So there is a high energy stay, so, so that's kind of like the, the scenario two that I was talking about, volition concave. Uh, and, and, and the reason why, and, and here, I ignored advantages in order to discover the, the essentiality of volition, okay? So that's the reason, and, uh, and these are kind of ideals, right? When there is pain, it is a raw opportunity for strength. 
there is never any pain. So these are kind of like values and ideals and kind of like uh, concepts. Um, yeah. And so th these are like elementary tools that I'm supposed to learn. These are kind of like the evaluation. So the, the evaluation elements. And these are, these are important because um, you need this to answer why so that you can keep the whole system intact or that I, I can keep everything intact in my mind. Uh, so that I don't lose anything and so that, you know, like, I don't feel, because if I don't keep everything intact in my mind, uh, sometimes I do an action, an action and I don't know why I'm doing it anymore. And that, if I get into, into, if I get into that mode, I stop doing it because I'm like, okay, wait, I need to know why I'm doing this. I need to know how it works and why it works. Yeah, so these are, these are tools for evaluation. So th those are just different things that I thought about, right? But besides that, I came up with values like this, right? And I'm just kind of like focusing on these values, right? And all of a sudden, if, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I could find that page. I'm gonna see if I could find that page where I, where I write all these phrases. Okay, so I, I can't find the page. I don't, I don't know, I don't even know if I have it. But I'm just, I'll just try to remember them. So, just kind of reminders that whenever there is pain, it is a raw opportunity for strength. Number two, pain is not meant to be, well, desires are not meant to be chased. Pain is not meant to be avoided. It is meant to be embodied. It is, it is meant to be accepted. So kind of like reminding myself of those values. If there, and number three, if there is something wrong, if you feel the need to get out, that means that you are not ready to get out. You know, to, and it was just like different phrases to kind of like, to kind of get myself to, to kind of accept, you know, and to kind of uh, turn things around, right? Maybe like, I, those are the only three that I remember, that I remember, but those are the only three that are written down here, so. And so anyway, so I was focusing on these. And I realized that just it, 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 it lasted for a good for a good period, and you know throughout the day I had that sensation, right, where whenever I had that feeling that would once produce misery, right, and I would just feel like kind of like a fire inside my chest, and kind of like, have you ever gotten a brush, like a really hard brush, and just like brushed your skin? And you kind of feel like the blood flowing through the top layer, and, and it kind of like feels tingly, tingly, and you feel alive, right? And that's what I was feeling, right? Whenever, whenever I focused on this, and whenever I, it, it, I just, it just started right here. Started, and it kind of felt like vibrations, vibrations, and it kind of went up my. It, it was all in my chest, right? And it felt like my heart was beating faster. And I'm not sure if that was happening. Like I, I didn't feel my heartbeat, but it, it just kind of felt like that. And I felt it come up here, and I also felt it like a little bit, you know, very subtly on my limbs, like the vibrations. And it just had that feeling of, of like adrenaline, and that that was happening throughout the whole day. Uh, and you know, when when I, when I would normally feel miserable or like stressed out, now I was feeling like that, and I was feeling like alive. You know, it's it's crazy, right? So I am I am getting somewhere, and I'm, I am figuring out that, but I still need more because I didn't experience that today because I wasn't focusing on it. And the excuse that I gave myself was because I needed to make this video, which is why I'm making it right now, so I could get that out of my head and move on to figuring this out. Um, but anyway, what else do we have to say about this? Anyway, so this is, the, this is the new model. So I'm still working on this, how to make it more efficient and more, more, uh, more smoother. And from here, I'm always avoiding concave, right? I'm always avoiding it. Concave is very useful in practicality. It is. It gets things done. But I'm always avoiding it. And my excuse have always, as far as my reasoning, it has always been because I was trying to figure this out. Right now, I have figured this out. I found it. And I have performed it. And I have figured out how to do it. I mean, I just need to touch it up and make it smoother, but I have figured it out. So 
And then the question is, can I now use concave? Because one part of my mind is like, no, stay away from that, stay away from that. I have to feel, I have to, there's something that I need to figure out. That's what I wanted to reach, I already reached it. So now I'm like, okay, now can I use concave? Now can I get into it? But see, it's like, the thing is, is like, if you're experiencing pain, if you're experiencing the need for concave, that means that you're not practicing wholesome action, right? So you need to get to a point where you don't need constellation in order to be able to use it appropriately. So once you get wholesome action, and once you like, I don't care, once you get into that state where you're just like free, and like there's nothing that could hurt you, and you're just like, uh, you know, powerful. I don't want to say invulnerable because that has negative connotations, but just like, you know, like nothing can hurt you, you know. Then you can use concave, right? And so between what well, while I was in Brawley, between October twentieth, and I think it was maybe on Tuesday, on Monday, maybe on Sunday, uh, on October twentieth through twenty first, maybe twenty two. 22nd, I was trying to bridge this gap. It's like, okay, now I'm done with this. Now can I use concave? The assumption is yes, because that's what I was trying to figure out. That's why I was trying. To, uh, that's why I was staying away from concave. But how do I bridge it? Right. And so you know, basically what I did is I thought about it. It's like once you get to this, once you're free from pain then you're free to come up with narratives. And narratives just, but the narratives just happen naturally. They don't happen out of need. Uh, they just happen naturally because that's just a story that you see. They happen out of freedom, right? So narrative, narrative, that's just stories that you find that develop naturally in the mind that you find as you observe. Because when you observe the world, you observe things, and from things you get stories. And so, you know, the, mo the new model of practicality looks something like this. Level zero, instinct. Level one, unknown protocol. Level two, essence of practicality. Level three, wholesome action. And then you have extensions of practicality, right? And these are like, you know, kind of like psychoanalyzing the way humans work. Learning about finances. Hmm? Learning about finances. Learning about, you know, how, how people work, learning about the details of physics, so you can build a building or architecture, all that stuff. So all that stuff, you know, is just different extensions, right? And all of that involves different narratives, you know? Like physics has its own story, biology has its own story and system. You know, and if, if you want to get into, if you want to get into, if you want to be a cook, then you get into that, right? But the point is that you do it all out of eudaimonia, out of a wholesome action. Doesn't matter what you choose, doesn't matter where you extend you or where to go. It's you do it because it's a wholesome action, not because if you don't do it, it's going to hurt you, right? You do it because you're happy. You do it not to be happy, but because you're happy. And so that's where concave comes in. Because that's when you learn the details of these of this particular narrative, these particular extensions. So, uh, but instead of drawing it like that, instead of drawing it like that, um, in the new model, after wholesome action, there's level four, and I just call it realm of narratives. And this could be, it could be open. I haven't, I haven't found a limit to it, so maybe it's just open. But maybe, maybe it's closed. I don't know. And maybe there's a fifth one. But I haven't, I haven't even got a glimpse of a fifth level. But extens, exhaustive options, possibilities there. And even exhaustive options, there could also be a negative one. You know, something even deeper than instinct. Um, but yeah, that's, that's stuff that I haven't explored. Uh, but that's that, that's where I've gotten to. Yep. And the other thing that I worked on is uh, as I'm trying to figure out how to perform wholesome action in eudaimonia, I was trying to figure out how to go from essence of practicality to eudaimonia. Uh, but I'll explain that in another video. Right now, it's just the new model of practicality.